As some of you might know, Minecraft is no stranger to malware, hacks and exploits. And on this channel, I've covered some of the more bigger ones, like Bleeding Pipe, Fracturizer and Weird Utils, the malware that infected Hypixel players. But there was always a thing in common with these hacks. They were all mod-based either on the client side or the server side, meaning people who didn't play with any mods installed were always safe. But do you feel safe? Because last week, Placeholder API, one of the most used server plugins in the backend out there, was compromised by a bad actor that could take over the server and make them download malware and scripts to the host machine. So what happened? Is this avoidable? And why is this monkey so funny to look at? On the 27th of October 2023, a few servers began noticing some players had elevated permissions, allowing them to fly, get into game mode, and have access to admin tools. After some investigation, the admin of one of these servers found a plugin he used with the name of Placeholder API, or Poppy for short, an API plugin that a lot of other plugins use to make their own software work a little bit better, downloaded an extension named Groupie, which allowed the user to download malicious scripts and run them on the server to gain backdoor access. This sounds bad, right? And it is. Poppy currently has a wide amount of plugins relying on it, allowing it to be a foundation for these pieces of software. It also allows the downloading for what's called extensions, allowing a plugin developer to write their code and hook in their software by writing an extension for Poppy and then uploading them to the main repository. As far as I know, there's no real checks in place to ensure that there's no real malware or bad code in this, making this an inevitability rather than a possibility. By using an extension named Mindpax, a person could give themselves permissions if the server was either running another compromised plugin or just some good old hacks, download the Mindpax expansion, use the newly acquired control to download Groupie and start running scripts on the host machine. Now, if you watched my Bleeding Pipe video, I think I don't need to explain why this vulnerability was bad. Now, an important note is that this is already fixed. They have disabled the downloading for unverified extensions, which is a good thing. But Lunar, I hear you ask, why should I care then? If it's fixed, why should I care? Well, you dingus, let me explain why. But first, it was mods. Then it was mod repositories themselves. And now it's plugins. Remember in my Bleeding Pipe video that I said there's a possibility that plugins could be dangerous? Yeah, this kind of proved it, didn't it? Minecraft has gotten to the age where vulnerabilities in its code and the community server's code and etc. can be found. Somebody once told me on one of these projects that whenever you're downloading something off the internet, you're at risk. And yeah, that, that's, that's ringing more true every time I see one of these attacks. And I think we've become a little bit too complacent with just downloading everything willy-nilly without double-checking if it's a trustworthy piece of software. And honestly, same. I just download mods without looking twice However, from now on, I think I will look twice before installing that girlfriend mod. But for now, I was Looter. You were awesome, and thanks for watching this rather shorter vid. Thanks again to my lovely patrons down on the bottom, I appreciate all of you. And a massive thank you for my boldest supporters, Farron, Rebecca, Walper, and Willux. And of course, my very awesome Mountain supporters, Comet Speed, Hands Friends, and Millhouse for the awesome support. As this video goes live, I'll likely be in the hospital for family reasons, Why? hence why this is a little bit of a short one, but I really wanted to make sure you guys weren't without content this week. I love you all, I'll see you later.